What's good Hilux fans? It's been five years since I rolled my car and I am determined to get this thing back on the road. So like, subscribe and hopefully in the end we'll go sideways again together. Next we've got to get this gearbox out and take the exhaust out. Hilux fans, on this episode, I show you how to remove a gearbox from a Hilux. That's a G52 from an LM106. This is my supercharged L67 Hilux swap and restoration series. Let's do it. Welcome back to the channel, YouTube. It's a Sunday and I'm just having a bit of a chill out down here on the ground. It's nice to be able to come out here and not have to worry about work. and It's pleasant out here. But if I roll out of bed, get on with it <laughs> what do we got we got the drive shaft out we've got the fuel tank out and look how much easier it's going to be to clean this and then use that spray gun that i got to spray on the um coat to make it all look neat and also to get into that chassis rail there where the fuel tank was covering i can get that cleaned back and then get it all um schmick like that so yeah good decision happy with it now we're going to get the gearbox out. Somebody's already made it easy for me because that's missing. <laughs> and on the other side, there's two missing. So it's, yeah, pretty dodge, but that's the way it is. So we're going to get these out. And then we've got to come up, up here and disconnect this mechanism, which drives the clutch. And then these bolts around the outside. And then we've got to lower the gearbox down. We've got to pull it backwards and then lower it down. And you can do it by yourself. I've done it by myself before. Um, what I did is just put a strap across here to catch it and then I put the jack under that bit there and I sort of lowered one end down to the ground from memory had it on a bit of an angle and then lowered the strap down so yeah we'll try and do that again we'll see how we go bricks are the go I didn't have these at my disposal last time so this is a luxury bricks I might crack that off before I put the bricks under because the bricks are going to make it a bit hard to reach. So we'll get the bolts cracked off first. Tell you what, I'm having a pretty good bloody time out here. And if I can get some of that sweet Ryobi sponsorship money, Ryobi, then, you know, I'm having an even better day. Hooks up, mate. Hooks up. Because I'm, I'm advocating what you do. Watch this. Oh, God. <laughs> oh get one <laughs> i was having a good time i was having a great time this was just happy days this was a bit of fun and then toyota said would you like to play a game <laughs> they put this one up here and then if you pass that you're onto the final bad guy he's up there <laughs> what kind of sick engineering department do they have at toyota all right i'm coming up with a plan i managed to get this on there but I can't, I can't break that with my hand. I need to put a breaker bar on there, but this isn't the way. So, got to, got to get this off. I mean, this took me a whole day to get the tail shaft off the back when it was being a dickhead. So, we'll see, we'll see. Here's my plan. That's the spanner. I'm gonna make it longer. With this, this actually has a hole in one end, so we'll slip, slip that over the handle. But as you can see, we're a bit long, so I just have to grind a bit off this, and then I should have some good leverage to get that bolt on. No, I don't have a vice. Don't have a vice, but I do have this battery. Up here. This one. So we can get onto it. 
can just get this ratchet spanner on there. Yes. Oh, it's such a happy feeling. Such a happy feeling. <clears throat> you can get this one from the top. Done. On to the final challenger. It's this one. There. Oh, it's moving. That's it, I've done them all. Right, now that I've got all those bolts loose, I'll go back to my original plan. Put this under the cross member. We're gonna put a heap of bricks under the front of the gearbox. And then we'll just tug it backwards on this. Backwards, and the gearbox will pop off the motor, and land on the bricks. And yeah, then we can just get her, get her out. Oh, so we got a problem here. The high lift jack's gonna move without the gearbox. Great. Oh, don't pull on the exhaust. That's not gonna help you. Right, so we're checking the gear sticks. I've just pulled this off. My least favorite job in the world is actually removing a stick. You've got to push your fingers against this ring here. That's sharp. I work with computers most of the time. I'm sensitive. My fingers are bloody soft. So, yeah, hate it. Anyways, that's, that's two-wheel drive. I'm going to put it four low. So we've got this bit of space here. And then we'll push this up into it. This is bloody spaghetti machine. There it is. There. I reckon. Yeah. That looks good to me. We'll get it out from there. Oh, what? Some mad dog. Okay, okay, okay. Some mad dog. Some absolute mad dog at Toyota. <laughs> has attached the bell housing to the exhaust pipe. So we haven't got it all disconnected after all. There's still, there's still this guy here, this one. So that's, yeah, now we gotta do that before it comes off. All right, so that was the bracket. It's off. And now we need separation, mate. All right, I've got to get to the pub. It's getting late. I've got to get this done. Strap to there. Block and tackle. Yeah. It's going. Oh, fucking gear sticks. <laughs> wow, what a shit predicament. Take these out. Don't try and cut corners like I did, because that ends up stuck against there. And now I can't go forwards. I can't get it. I can't get the bell housing back on. It's already that far off, but it's not far off enough to get the gear sticks out. So I got the grinder. I thought about cutting them off, but I think I'll just try tomorrow to pop out the gear sticks. Remember, I was not wanting to do it because it hurts my precious fingers. But this one, I know I can get out if I try, and then. Hopefully I can still get this guy out. Yeah, I think I can. And then I don't have to cut him. But that's tomorrow me's job, because I've had enough. I'm going to the pub. Ew. Right, so it's the next day and I finally got this gearbox off. It's now sitting on those bricks. And what was holding me up actually was the exhaust. I wasn't paying attention. The exhaust wraps around here and just holds it like a saddle. So yeah, I had to take the exhaust off. And once I did that, it just, you know, one little tug and it came off. And yes, I got those gear sticks out as well. So now I'll just get the, um, some of them bricks out, get it onto the ground and skull drag it out of here. Ah, <laughs> 
still bloody tied on. Shit. Let's see if we can get this out. Get him out here a bit more. We'll stand him up. Don't, don't store it up right. Look how much oil just came out of it. <laughs> well guys, that's it for another episode, but do hit the subscribe and like buttons because in the next couple episodes, we paint this engine bay, get the engine out, paint the underside of the car and rip the engine out of that one over there. And if you love Hilux, if you're like me and you get a bit sick without them and you get even more sick with them, tick like and subscribe and keep it upright. See you out there.